The day was September 18, 1966. On September 18, 1986, Famous 56 WFIL will remember with the biggest anniversary celebration the Delaware Valley has ever seen or heard. The legend continues. going to be happening 10 days from right now. I, this is the most excited crew you've ever seen in your life. We're going to be meeting all of the big legends of uh, the pop explosion. WFIL celebrates 20 years on the 18th, and uh, you can celebrate with us. we got all the radio greats like... Give me some names here, George. Mo Who? Mo Littleman? Mo Littleman will be here. I'm going to have you killed. The big guys. Dave, Dave, Parks. Da Dave Parks. Dave Parks? Yes. George. What? Wait, wait, wait. Get on the mic over there, okay? If we can get it to work, we're going to put him on a mic. Now, which who's going to be here? Hello, testing, one, two, yes. This is a test. Are you there? Yes. There we go. All right, who's going to be here? Dave Parks. Dave Parks. Jay Cook. Jay Cook. And, and special guest star, Dr. Donald D. Rose and Lulabelle. Yes. So join us for it. It's happening on the 18th on WFIL. Hi, this is Dick Clark on the occasion of WFIL's 20th anniversary of the pop explosion, inviting you to join the gang. Most of the old jocks are going to be back on WFIL. Tomorrow it is the day, as I did tell you a little bit ago, huh? just 11 hours away from the biggest celebration in town, 20-year reunion. All all those kids are coming back that definitely were a part of WFIL 20 years ago. It starts off at 6 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, all day. Make sure that you're a part of it. Golden Oldies 56, WFIL. This is Steve O'Brien. It is just a matter of hours away. WFIL's 20th anniversary celebration. The guys are getting all set. Hey, this is Dick Clark. Years and years ago, I was heard right on this radio station long before Rock Roll and Remember. And that was back in the days even before the 20th anniversary celebration of the pop explosion. You're cordially invited to join an awful lot of your old friends right here on WFIL. This is the place right here for you to be for WFIL's 20th anniversary celebration. It is now less than eight hours away. Join us for the biggest radio party ever to hit Philadelphia radio. All day long, you will hear the greats of WFIL's past on the air live, including the likes of Jay Cook and Banana Joe and Dick Heatherton and J.J. Jeffries and Long John Wade and Brother Lee Love. Mm, one of my favorites. He's all go they're all going to be here tomorrow. Make your plans. Start 6 o'clock this morning. Tomorrow morning, you can wake up with Dr. Donald D. Rose right here at WFIL. The time is 5.31 a.m. W-F-I-L. It starts at 6 a.m. Right here on Golden Oldies 56 WFIL. The Pop Explosion Reunion. Join us. Anybody A new and controversial Chief Justice headlines WFIL News First at 56. Good morning, Wayne Cabot reporting. I'm Wayne Cabot, 48 degrees on Thursday, September 18th, 1986. WFIL. September 18th, 1966, the same day the pop explosion began on WFIL, the Eagles were opening their home season at Franklin Field. But 20 years ago today, the NFL generated much less excitement than it does now. At game time, there were still 5,000 tickets left unsold. If you wanted to watch the Eagles and Falcons do battle, the stadium seat would have sent you back $5.50. That same day, the Phils were sending Claude Osteen to the mound against the Astros. These days, Osteen is widely known as Steve Carlton's mentor and as a Phils pitching coach. But the big worry was about the whereabouts of Wilt Chamberlain 20 years ago today. Three days before, his San Francisco house had caught fire, and he hadn't been seen since. He was already three days late for the Sixers training camp. Well, 20 years later, we have it on reliable evidence that he did reappear. After all... How easy could it be for a seven-foot-tall basketball star to hide? Jeff Collins, WFIL News. Does that mean, oh, 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 why, are we, why are we doing that? We shouldn't do that. Turn down the volume on my headset. 
Haven't they got that fixed yet? That was we were doing that back uh, the, 20 years ago. For heaven's sakes! In, in fact, uh, this is the start. 20. Boy, now I can't even hear myself. <laughs> ah, boy, that compression is—it's uh, just kind of sucking us up here. Well, that's all right. That's a, we'll try to do just whatever it does. Uh, hey, anyway, I'm Doctor Don Rose. Remember me? I play records and I tell funny stories. You want to hear a good quick one? You don't want to hear another one? <laughs> in fact, let's do the religious part of the program first thing here. Lord, why do I have to get up so early in the morning? <laughs>